Hey guys, this is Abel Cruz from Law Enforce. I wanted to touch bases with you guys about, you know, I know that it's coming a new season. Our winter's still going. Our summer usually starts around um, April, May, around there, or depending on the season that we're getting. Probably we're going to start earlier just for the fact that our weather has been so crazy. We had some snow yesterday, and as you can tell outside, there's nothing on the ground already, so everything melted right away. Um, we, uh, I pretty much salted the crap out of everybody, and that was good to go. But um, summer-wise, you know, I know that this is the time that you get your advertising now, you get your a new lawnmower, used lawnmower, you get, you know, upgrade your equipment uh, or put them into shape, you know, get new blades, bindles, um, belts, spark plugs, oil, all those kind of stuff and do some maintenance on them. I got two lawnmowers, i.e. In, in, in a later future um, um, video, I'm going to be showing you, you know, what I have, what do I do with them and what's the average time that I want to put on them. Like, that's exactly what I want to talk to you about today. When you get a lawnmower, you have to put a tag price on it um, and a life expectancy probably of four years if it's brand new. So let's say you buy a lawnmower that is $10,000 and let's say you get a zero finance and uh, zero uh, interest. So you just free money for you which means these people can give you money so you can buy a lawnmower and then you pay them back and there's no interest on it which means it makes it free money. It's like borrowing your money from an uncle or your parents or whatever. But at least something it's something that your company is building on, which that's exactly what you want to do. When I bought the business, I had no credit, no nothing. So my first loan, it was like 10% or the amount, which it was like 20 grand. And then, and on top of that, I had to put um, $2,000 to buy it back, to buy all my equipment back which is it made it you know, more difficult at the end. I had to come up with $2,000 or refinance again for another year in order to pay that out. Um, not anymore. Now I can buy my lawnmowers through dealerships or I can buy a new truck from a dealership and I get the, uh, I get already, you know, I got credit for the business. But when I buy a bit, uh, when I buy a mower, I always think about four year expenses on that lawnmower, whether you have to fix in a couple of things here and there, but the life expectancy before everything goes to hell, it will be four years, I would say, give it a take. So let's say I buy a lawnmower for $10,000, brand new. What would make it worthwhile for me to have a lawnmower at that price and be making money off of it? For me to make it worthwhile, I will have to put at least 400 hours or more. Ideally, it will be 500 hours uh, per season. My seasons are a lot uh, shorter than your guys in the South. I would think Florida and Georgia, all those places, I think they mow almost all year round, maybe skipping weeks here and there and during the winter or even during the summer when we get droughts and they don't get that many hours. But if you want to put hours on your lawnmower, that's your key making. Um, you don't want to buy a lawnmower and then four years down the road, you only put 300 hours on it. That just, you're not making any money on it. Might as well buy a, a crappy lawnmower and use that. But for me to make it worthwhile to be a, and to understand in my mind that I want a lawnmower that that price, I had to make the money out of it. So last year I bought a lawnmower that, it, that cost me 13 grand, which means I had to make a ton of money with a lot more. If I'm passing my 400 hours, <clears throat> that's that's my goal. That's my goal because average, you're going to be paying for that more. Let's say you buy for $10,000, you're going to be paying around $2,500 a year, which means you have to make more than $2,500 a year with the lawnmower in order to make it worthwhile, in order to good to have it. Now, when you take hourly, the the hours are the the key to your lawnmower's life and life expectancy. You want to put those hours and you want to put those hours into hours and money. The average hour to run daily, let's say you work eight, day, um, eight hours every day for the entire season 
and you're putting hours on that lawnmower, you're gonna, you, it's a, it's, let's say you just bought it, which means every every yard or every hour that you work with that mower, it's gonna cost you, which means it's gonna cost you around $5 per hour if you make your eight hours daily. Um, around $5. You have five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. Let's say you buy um, you buy the lawnmower. You put a uh, five dollars an hour for eight hours daily. You might be thinking, you know, it could be it's going to run you about twenty five hundred dollars a year with a lawnmower, which means that's going to be your payment. So when you when, this is other things that you have to be thinking about. Let's say the the way I think about it, I guess I have to spend five dollars in the lawnmower hourly. I have to spend probably a dollar twenty, a dollar fifty per gas an hour. Um, and then you have to add your employee time. Employee time, let's say with workers comp and uh, unemployment and all those things. Let's say you pay the guy ten dollars. It's gonna jump to fifteen dollars per employee. So these are the things that you have to be thinking about. So which means your your five dollar more your five dollar more an hour it went up to six with the gas and it jumped to another fifteen dollars an hour to run it. Which means you already are twenty some bucks, which means whatever you're charging for a lot for a property. It's the key, you know, you wanna charge them enough for you to make money off of them. You know, let's say for me, it will be worthwhile an hour, one guy, $35, 30 or oh, $30, $30 to $35, it, which it will make it, you know, because you have to be thinking about the gas that you're spending on your truck, your insurance, uh, liability insurance, truck insurance, all those kind of things that come into place, which means if you go and start bidding your properties at $25, you're already losing money. Off the, right off the back, um, unless you have a ton of houses in the same place and you only cut it once. In growing season, you have to cut it twice, three times, you know, whatever it takes. Or if you have a bagging system, but then you're gonna have to add time for bagging, uh, taking all that grass out, all those things, you always wanna be thinking about those things. Um, numbers are the key to success. Um, you cannot run a business without checking your numbers and what it costing you an hour, a minute. Go down to the minute in order for you to figure it out and how to be successful. Um, when I bought the company uh, three years ago, four years ago, um, the company was going down. I don't know if it was because the, my ex boss wanted to, he was just getting rid of it, you know, of everything. He was passing on the, the business. So I don't know if he was taking not taking care of it. So I had to take care of it. So these are the things that I had to, and it's been successful since I got it. The the things that I, the accounts that I have today, I started with around 30 accounts in the summer. And I'm up to 50 accounts in the summer. And that was last year, that or, or last season. We mean this year I've been increasing it. I increasing more guys. Um, winter wise, it's been very productive. I got three trucks with plows. I got salters. I got a skis loader. You know, I got all those things. You know, I used to buy the salt by bags and I spent a lot of money. It was around $250 for a full pallet. And that's like a ton and $400. I mean, in 400 bag, 400 pounds. Oh, 2,400 pounds. So, and on a ton is 2,000 pounds. So, I got those things, you know. I went to bulk and it went, it dropped the price like crazy. Probably it's people in Michigan, this they can get so a lot cheaper than what I can, but this is the cheapest that I can get here in Wisconsin. But anyhow, in the summer, it is vital for you to take care of your equipment. Um, I recommend to buy use because you can get the best out of it. Um, remember those $5 uh, per hour on that more and respect the life expectancy of that lawnmower for 2,000 hours before you have to change something new or so, change something. But if you buy parts, it's better than buying a brand new mower because you're spending less money um, fixing it than buying a brand new mower. And that's money for your wallet. So guys, think about it. You know, 
I know that you guys have str struggles and things like that. You had sometimes you have two jobs in order to make it ends neat, ends neat. So, but I just wanted to give you a heads up. Uh, I'm gonna be making a, a video soon with all the, my equipment for the summer. Not yet, we're still in winter, so I'm gonna keep going at it. Um, keep it safe, you know, and stay, stay in touch. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you like these kind of videos, uh, give me a thumbs up or, you know, give me a suggestion and like me on Facebook, uh, at Loan for LC on Facebook. So, all right, um, take it easy and remember to subscribe. Have a nice day.